the financial obligations i have no overdraft at the moment it's another it's another what <laughs> another banga make a call 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 make Let's do the budget. Let's go. So welcome, welcome. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. So this is actually in my ebook. I I think it should be available when this goes up, but if it is not available, it should probably be available the following week. And in the template I do have a section where we talk about how to use it and it's for us to maintain a monthly and an annual budget. So here we'll enter our expenses and our incomes in the respective places and then we'll see if we have any shortages or excess in every month. So obviously this is all this is all fit fictional numbers that I've created so that we're able to you know do something. So obviously you can then screws it up to what you want and i like to have my list of expenses written down honestly why because then sometimes i i realized i would forget things so then i will write like the date my rent is due let's say my rent is due on the 26th of this month right so i'll then write the 26th of this month okay it's due on the 26th i'll probably leave it as the 26th because rent is due every single 26th and my rent is 1100 pounds i there we go it's 1100 pounds i hope it is clear let me try and get you guys a little bit closer to the screen and then i will also go ahead and put more quickly so that we don't waste time. This is an example. So I've kept it quite simple and I have written, as we can see, that we have rent that is due um, on the 26th. And the lovely thing is most of the things now you're able to bring your bills towards the same um a time that you have been paid so hence why most of my bills are 31 because i know by then i will have money so my bills will be rent gym the food i need regardless i would put the amount of how much i usually spend sometimes i sp i buy food every two weeks but still have the amount already allocated and then how much money i need to contribute in terms of family Am I planning on doing something for my birthday? I could start preparing for my birthday in January if I think that I want to do that and finish it. It's according to my importance. I am turning 25 this year, so it is important. It is important. And transport, obviously, if you do need to move around. And also your phone, if you are on a phone contract or anything that needs to do with any phone, then you can then see the, all the amounts. You could even sum them up. So then the nice thing about this is that if any extra stuff come up i particularly struggle if i had new things on then i'd forget when i'm now doing my budget because you do the budget before the end of the month i'd forget i'm like oh i have extra money and you realize no i actually subscribe to google coursera because you want to do a, a course on there and the 22 pounds or the 40 pounds will come out and you actually haven't put it down so you can just quickly auto sum it and i need two thousand and 57 to survive right so then we can go into the actual personal budget which you have here it is actually really pretty uh you can change the colors around according to what you want because um i wanted it to show the things that have income and also to show the things that are expenses. It's easier for me to already see that my available balance is that on there and my expenses are all the things in orange and then all of the things in orange. You could even put them into different things. So it is sub, um, 
what's the word it's sub done like subsections that makes it easier you can even make it into smaller things obviously erase the things that don't apply to you and then you can see if your total expenses and if you need extra cash or a shortage and then what to do next so today's point is to do basic budgeting this does show you for the I think yeah so obviously we're gonna change this we're now in 2024 and your personal budget is in 2024 and we will do January so let's say my wages as written down my example let's say your wages are um, I actually get 1600 pounds and I actually it might not be called miscellaneous I also get money from YouTube, from my YouTube posts. Let me just remove that. So I get money from YouTube, which is an extra 400 pounds. So that means I have 2000 pounds and yeah, I have 2000 pounds at the end of the day. Sometimes I do do a consulting work. So let's say consulting i got an extra an extra 100 so it is 2100 i personally believe the first amount of money that should come out should be your tithe so it has to be 10 percent of 2100 which is obviously 210 i just need to check it was meant to automatically do it so i will check the formula before i make it available and then offering i think this you then decide that is a personal thing i think i'm going to offer the hundred and now the total now i know my total is this that i'm going to have to send to my church or local whatever you do if you give back if that's what you're doing you can put that into there then my available balance is 1790 then my expenses as we've said my expenses is rent my rent is actually 1100 we can put in 1100 and then we can go in and see i need the gym let me just try and take a picture so we don't have to keep going coming up and down for now i'm trying not to make the video too long and there we go i have a closer so then now it's even easier eventually when you have it and you have your things set up things are, they stay relatively the same so when it comes to food and daily living i had already put 250 which i i had included also my toiletries and dining out so i will put let me just put 200 here put a zero there so that it will fix everything and then my toiletries put 50 pounds so that's 250 my public transport i said maybe approximately 200 but i don't think it'll actually be 200 so i did over over if estimate but let's put it at 200 for now and then entertainment i don't have anything but just the phone in my example and the phone is 57. The phone is 57. Oh, what have I done? Okay, the phone is 57. We don't have any other anything for the example. We are going to the gym in our example. So the gym is actually 50 pounds. And we are currently not putting anything here. And if we continue going down, I don't have any subscriptions no subscriptions no license we're about to get to clothing there's no clothing remember i have that birthday thing but we're gonna do that right at the end so you could then have oh you could have buffer amounts amounts that you are putting into emergency fund i make sure i put in 50 pounds at the moment maybe i can try and see if i can put 50 pounds Why is it, oh, there's still an amount there. And then I have no other financial obligations. I have no overdraft at the moment. So we're just going to put zeros everywhere. And my overall cost is, 
my total expenses are actually 1707 so if we do go back i want us to actually see that it's not easy if you want to just make sure remember we had we were left with 1790 and after all our deductions which i hope i did i didn't do family actually we'll leave it for this example just for it to be simple um and then we have total expenses as 1700 so then we can actually see we have an extra of 83 pounds at the end of the month so now remember i had family and we said we're cancelling family for now for our example but i also had birthday i had an idea of that let me start saving up for my birthday i may decide that you know what maybe my birthday may not be as may not be priority maybe let me just add in a bit more to my emergency fund so let me just add in so that it's a hundred so then now i'm left with 33 pounds and then maybe now with that i can then just write my birthday um 25 i'm left with eight pounds um uh, maybe let's add a bit more let me start saving up for next month's um gym license so let's call this gym next month which is eight. Now I did this for a particular reason. I wanted to show you that you need to budget all the way to zero. I hope you can see it is now actually 1,790. So there's no extra cash or, or shortage which is exactly what we have available after all our endeavors that we went into throughout January. And this is what we're expecting for it to happen. We do have an extra amount and it is important to have an emergency fund. You might need to take out of it. But what happens if you actually are in a budget deficit, if you need extra money, what does that mean? What should I do? How do I start clearing my bills? So let us put, we will put it as an overdraft, but we'll put the 350 that we were mentioning in terms of giving to family. Let's put, so because I'm going to take an overdraft to give to family, the amount of money, because that is important. Uh, why is it not adding up? I think I deleted my formula here. Right? So then now I am at an overdraft of 350. How do I then change that? We'll go into that in the next coming week. Thank you so much. But basically it's simple things, changing maybe where we're shopping, changing our gym, gym membership. I can tell you, you can get a gym membership that is actually 22 pounds instead of the 50 pounds. So that would reduce and it's simple things like the snowballing effect will go into that. But for now, the important step for you is that you've done a budget, you've seen, you've opened your eyes, you know where the money's going, you know, understand the triggers now. And it's important, you can even be reading tips, especially in the book that comes with this. It is absolutely amazing, if I do say so myself, but you're able to just read simple things that will just help you along the way. So much for watching and I hope it was informative and as you continue doing your budget for this coming month this february do do not be scared do not be scared you are able to do it the numbers may scare you at the beginning but remember this is the way to control your finances thank you so much for coming to another mondays we talk about money goodbye for now